Yo, what's up, guys? I'm with another video. Today, we're going to be exposing Kicks Biggie View Box. Um, this is just like a little, like, uh, Patrick CC type video. Who's this person? Um, Cam Cammy Ron or Cameron? I don't like butchering it. It's probably Cameron. Um, thank y'all for 100 subscribers, 105 subs to be exact. On the way to 200 subs. We skipping past 150. I'm gonna trade it to 200 because you already know me. I know that we, that we can hit that this summer, bro. I know that we can hit it this summer, bro. I know. If I know, we can do it, man. But yeah, this was just to show y'all love because y'all showed me love. Thank y'all. But let's get to the video. Let's stop all this yap. Streaming platform in the world. It's something it, someone it is. absolutely delusional would say. Thank you, no doubt that Oh, never mind. Okay, you have a nice little hair. Okay. But it's like, it's like going curved. You gotta get get that lineup where it goes hung, 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 hung. I guess it's Cammy Ron. All right, let's go. And Kick fault. has a lot of problems with yeah, their platform. I mean, it's literally the there. home of the degenerates. Yeah. Every month, there's a new issue with Kick. I legit made a video about Kick back in late November last year. And ever since yeah. then, there has been so much that has happened. You had a streamer tell a teacher to shut the F up in a college <laughs> classroom. <laughs> Bro, can you shut the f up? Bro, who the f is you, bro? Dang! What? 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 You better get your big ass on, boy. You a bitch. I'm gonna shoot your bitch ass. I'm gonna shoot your bitch ass. When was this? You a bitch. You had a streamer diss El Chapo. Oh, when was this? Who? Bro, can you. What, is, what does this have to do with just being on kick? Well, I guess it's. You shut the f up. Bro, who the f is you, bro? Who is you, Ooh. bro? Yeah. What? What? Me personally, what? I would stay in my seat, be quiet. I'd be like, <laughs> but yeah, he, he rough. Better it. get your big it's ass. It's like grown people. It's like it's like all grown people. So. You know. Oh boy, you a bitch. I'ma shoot your bitch ass. I'ma shoot your bitch ass. Dang. So fat ass on you a bitch. He you got a cause for no this reason. El Chapo. El Chapo, nigga, I'm El Chapo King. I will cut El Chapo's knuckle. Fuck the whole cartel. Suck my. And I'm going to Mexico next week. And you also had. Um, he's dead. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go full. I gotta go full face for this. Um, guys, he's dead. He went to Mexico. He's not making it back. He's not. Everybody say rip to that guy, bro. Holy crap! Numerous apex predators and weirdos. Oh yeah, this weird though, bro. On the website, I mean, there's a whole video on this one streamer named Riot. LOL, and that man was basically a super villain. Oh my god, my just like out. What the hell? Yo, like, I mean, like, why are they not more out? Is real question. I mean, like, what time is it? You know, it's already demon hours. Get wait, listen. How old are you? I'm 19. Oh, I'm 16. <laughs> you said 18. Whoa! Yeah. That man is crazy. That man literally needs to be locked yeah, up. Yeah, he's trying to be a real. Now, what does all this tell you? Kick still has an obvious clout chasing problem, and it's no different than it was ever since that first video. But in today's video, I don't necessarily want to focus on the degeneracy. Wait, what did he say? Ever since that first video. But in today's video, I don't, I don't necessarily want to focus platform, on the he? degeneracy of Kick. I just like Aiden Ross. There's already so many videos out there of people talking about Kick's degeneracy, and I feel like I would just be regurgitating their information. Yeah, so that's really not, not what this good. video is about. What I want to talk about specifically in this video is Kick's botting problem. Because like mm, I said, this I don't know do about anything for clout on that website. Even go to the extents of faking their viewership. Now, how does someone exactly crazy. fake viewership on Kick? Well, it's pretty simple. Basically, what someone does is they'll buy something called a view bot. And what that does, it basically loads up your stream with tons of bot viewers. And these bots don't type or anything. They're basically just there as a number. And people oh, do this right, so right. that their stream is pushed up in the kick algorithm. Oh, so I'm thinking it's just like when someone sees it, they're like, oh, this guy has 13,000 views. Let's see what he's doing. But no, it's to push them up at, so they're at the very top so, so they can be discovered easier. And that makes those sense. Those fake viewers will turn into real viewers because more real people will see their streams and join up. That's I smart. Can't lie. It's a pretty smart strategy. <laughs> That's kind of smart. An up and coming streamer on the platform. This I don't think I would do it because I. I want to skip steps. That makes sense. I like growing. You know, there's nothing a community. Wrong with a little bit of faking it till you make it, right? Wrong. Because nah. there is a huge downside to view botting, and that downside is that it's ruining the game for the streamers out there yeah. who are legitimately trying to build a community. That's what I'm saying. Organic. What I, and it's also ruining what I just the credibility what I just of the website. What I just say. I never watched this video in my life. What was that? Who am I? 
what is it outside as well now how can you exactly tell if a streamer's viewers are botted well it's pretty simple number one slow moving chat with extremely yeah, high viewership if somebody's stream great. has apparently tens of thousands of people in it but when you look at the chat there's only like five people typing they are obviously view botting like yeah. let's be real here you're yeah. telling me out of tens of thousands of people only five people are sitting there typing at their keyboards yeah exactly number two make, yeah. inconsistent engagement on different platforms streaming is very personal you know it's a one-on-one -on -one connection with you and whoever is watching your stream Ugh, and streaming who is, is that so guy personal, people are more inclined to follow you on different platforms because they tend to feel like they really know you that's why streamers have some of the best engagement on every platform that they're mm, on because the I never thought about so like that because they feel like they have a personal connection to that stream I should be so somebody right has now. tens of thousands of viewers in their stream but for some reason on other platforms their engagement is absolutely terrible they're most likely botting their viewership and number three random spikes in viewership now let's say you're just chilling watching a stream right you tune okay. in it's maybe like an hour or two into the stream during that time that person might have been at like 5,000 live viewers then out right. of nowhere within the span of like 10 seconds that person jumps from 5k to 100k with no rate at all <laughs> no shout out or anything just out of nowhere that person is most likely botting viewership because That's where did this crazy. random influx of viewers just come from out of the freaking sky Bruh. now those are just a few signs of somebody view botting but to really uh, help you guys understand the difference yeah i would never view by um i don't even watch kick i don't even watch twitch because i don't like it like, youtube is my favorite one I, I love how you can like i like watching vods on twitch i don't like on youtube it's like you tap the screen twice on the right side you skip 10 seconds on the left you you are wise 10 seconds on twitch if you double tap it brings up like a chat like i don't like that i don't like having to tap the screen and tap that that, that little like skip a uh, button i don't like that i just like to be able to you know what i'm saying i just don't like it i like, I like uh, youtube better ship and fake viewership on is the best i'm gonna show you player, guys bro. some real streamers and some fake streamers Okay, real streamer me. number one your rage now if you don't know who your rage is he is a kick streamer yeah, who used to stream on, on twitch. twitch and he yeah. averages about 15k average viewers on kick with a oh 15k average and his peak is oh my gosh once we hit those numbers bro i'm gonna truly make it bro once we hit those numbers bro it's gonna be soon, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Peak viewership of 29k. We, we finna hit that. His chat. his chat is pretty active. On his Twitter, he has about 700,000 followers with some pretty good engagement on each tweet. His Instagram also has about 700k followers. His main YouTube has 1.6 million subscribers. His Twitch has 1.5 uh -huh. million followers. And his Kick has 238,000 followers. And okay. like I said, when you look at his streams, his chat is moving pretty well for the amount of people he has in there. People are typing, people are yeah. active. And when you look That's at other Social man. media platforms that this man is on the conversion rate makes sense because his viewers engage on anything he does on each and every platform he uploads on youtube he gets a good amount of views posts yeah. on ig he gets a good amount of likes and comments he posts a tweet and people are engaging with the tweet he streams people man. are in the streams there's a consistency to his engagement on each platform he is i got a twitter i have everything else real though. streamer number two bruce drop him off now if you don't know who bruce drop him off is he is a kick streamer who used to stream on twitch and on his yeah. kick he averages about five thousand viewers per stream with okay. a peak viewership of 40,000 in the last okay. 30 days but that 40,000 was most likely botted by a random individual watching the stream mm. not Bruce himself I don't believe so because if you look at all of his other streams viewers can bot your streams in the past what? month only that one stream I guess that, had 40 000 people how? in it and there's no significance to the stream it was just like any of his other streams there was no special guest or anything or special event it's just him chilling so i think that peak uh -huh. viewership is a little skewed because somebody botted it but he averages about 5 000 average viewers per stream he's got That's about fire. 600 000 followers on twitter 700 000 followers on instagram 1 million subs on his main youtube channel okay. and 1.3 million followers Dang. on twitch now the reason i say that bruce is legit is because when you tune into a stream Streams, there's always people typing regardless of how many people are watching he has 5,000 right. viewers that's less than your rage but at the same time this man's chat is always moving and when you look at his engagement on other different platforms it is pretty consistent now kinda like go ahead rage. and answer he uploads on views, youtube these, gets a good amount of views botters. posts pick on ig gets a good amount of likes posts a tweet and people are engaging with the tweet he streams people are in the streams go there's ahead a consistency and expose these bruce drop him off is most definitely legit now one more real streamer that okay. i want to show you guys before we get into these fake streamers is 
XQC. Now, if you're unfamiliar with XQC, he's a streamer who streams on Twitch and Kick, and he's one of the top. I don't watch any of these people. Only, only people I watch is Your Rage and uh. Yeah, you're right. Top age. streamers <laughs> on both platforms. And his streams usually consist of him either gaming or reacting. And he's got 1.5 million followers on Twitter, 570,000 followers on Instagram, 2.3 uh, million subscribers okay. on YouTube, 12 million followers on Twitch, and 700,000 followers. followers on Kick. And when you take a look at his Twitch stats, he's got about a 32,000 viewer average with a peak okay. viewership of 59,000 within the past 30 days. And on Kick, he's got a 28,000 viewer average with a peak viewership Dang. of 43,000. So his viewership Imagine. is pretty Man. similar on both when you look at his streams you can tell that people are actively typing in a chat and when you look at his other platforms there's a consistency to his engagement so i would say yeah. he's pretty legit now those are just a few real streamers on kick who have real viewership now let's look i know that. xqc is on twitch i mean a kick fake streamer fake on twitch. streamer number one neon right, so now i don't really need to do oh, an introduction yeah. on neon because all things i heard about neon was bad things i haven't heard a good thing about neon Hey, not saying I don't know anything. Listen, I, I don't watch Neon. I don't know anything ab about him. I just know all bad things. With uh, f uh who's it? F uh, Fusey Tube and stuff. I don't know because I'm, I'm not really sure in the loop with who he is. Kick now Neon has 120,000 followers on Twitter, 600,000 followers on Instagram, 800,000 subs on his main YouTube channel, with 285,000 Kick followers. But for some reason, this man has a 67,000 average on Whoa. Kick with a peak viewership of 110,000 10, in the past 30 days. Now to some people, that may seem completely normal. You yeah. know, Neon is somebody that a lot of people talk about, whether yeah. it's good or bad. His name is all I've never seen anything mouths. good about I him. I mean, man. when you check TikTok, a lot of Neon yeah. clips do go pretty viral. Now, the reason why I think that Neon's viewership is fishy is because it doesn't make sense when you compare it to other big kick streamers and other big Twitch streamers. Like, okay. let's take Kai Sinat and Aiden Ross, for example. Aiden Ross goes crazy on kick. He's the top kick streamer. And if you look at his uh -huh. other social medias, you can tell that Four he gets million, some pretty good engagement. Million, his viewers interact million. with everything he does on numerous platforms. And Kai Sinat, on the other hand, is one of the top Twitch streamers. Yes, yeah, Kai. And when you look at his other socials, you can tell that his viewers rock with them on all platforms. Yes, yeah, Kai. He gets yeah. some great engagement. But as you Ooh, can see on this chart, somehow million. Neon averages more viewers than both of them. And all Neon right, yeah, that's cat, bro. You think Neon gonna average more viewers than Kai and Aiden? Wait. Yeah, and Kai and Aiden. Only Come has on. a fraction of what they have on all of his other socials. That is pretty fishy. I mean, you've probably yeah, watched that's, a Kai Sinat yeah. stream before. You've also probably watched an Aiden Ross stream before. But I can assure They're you hype, that yeah. you've never watched a Neon stream uh, yeah, in your I, entire life. I haven't. Like, no, this no, hey, I just doesn't haven't. make sense because when you really think about it, I how haven't. is Neon a bigger streamer than Kai Sinat and Aiden Ross yeah, nah. on a platform that is smaller than Twitch? Kick's yeah, community nah. is just a watered down Twitch community. Everyone who's on Kick was most likely on Twitch yeah. before Kick was even a thing. Even though they're two facts. completely different platforms, the communities are pretty similar. Now, granted, yeah. Neon streams do have some pretty eye-catching guests that'll make someone want to watch. Like who? Don Tolliver, Blueface, and many other celebrities. But let's be real yeah. here. Who genuinely wants to watch a stream with Neon and Don Tolliver? Nobody. <laughs> Don Tolliver's name does not hold that much weight yeah, it where doesn't. it'll make tens of thousands of people want to watch him interact Meanwhile, with, with Kai, I'd rather watch paint dry than watch a stream Dang. with Don Tolliver and Neon. There is no way <laughs> that Neon is pulling 100,000 live viewers oh, with only okay. 120,000 followers on Twitter. Oh, it just yeah. doesn't make sense. XQC yeah. is one of the top kick streamers, and he's not pulling anywhere near that. This man is yeah. a viewbotting demon. I'm not Dang. saying that Neon has no viewers at all, because if you peep his chat, his chat does move, but there's no way that Neon has more than like 5,000 to 10,000 people watching his streams. Oh, that's embarrassing getting caught view by like to me that'll be embarrassing that's what i'll never do i'm telling you i would never do this bro that's like that's some lame stuff to me just like skipping steps just be like the best streamer it's gonna take time i already know that i already do that in my mind it's gonna take time you just gotta chill you gotta chill let they marinate and just build like a community basis and i think ten thousand is pushing do. like there was actually the screenshot i'm telling you going... by i don't know by what time but i'm gonna be like the top streamer even though i'm i've been mainly doing youtube i'm gonna be like the top five uh 
Twitch streamers around on Twitter. Watch, man. And it showed that Neon had 70,000 viewers at the start of his stream. There is no way that Neon is pulling that. What's funny is that I actually caught a Neon stream for this video, and I caught this man in the act. Bro, how did this man go from 10,000 viewers to 20 minutes later having 70,000 viewers? I don't care if you say, oh, <laughs> without all that stuff, he might have posted an IG story and people might have joined up. There is no way that Neon is jumping mm. from 10,000 viewers to 70,000. But like, who really cares? It's like, it's, it's Neon. Like, who really is really like checking him? So honestly, he gets away with it for real. Five for concurrent him. viewers within the course like, of 20 who cares minutes for him? with no special like, guests I don't really care. Like, okay, Just him bots. swimming in water. Fake streamer number two, Convy. Now, if you don't know who Convy is, he's basically one of Aiden Ross's henchmen who used to stream on Twitch. Oh, okay. Convy, that's the one that uh, Max dissed, right? That's the one that Max dissed. That's all I know about him. That Max dissed him. Uh, he's cool with um, Silky. Or he was cool with Silky. He's but now history. streams yeah. on kick and his streams usually consist of him either gaming reacting to videos or going outside and streaming irl and you know what? i remember when max said that in his song like um he, he got caught from a uh, view body yeah I remember. he's got 90 000 followers his instagram has 136 000 followers he has 40k subs on both of his youtube channels 157 000 followers on twitch okay and 110 000 followers on kick and when you look at his kick stats he's got a 16 000 viewer average. that's a lot to me bro 16 000 people watching you live do whatever you're doing man that to me is a lie. I can't wait till I hit those numbers, man. It's gonna be soon, man. Past 30 Tell y'all, bro. When you tune into his streams, he actually has a pretty active chat. Okay. Like, there are always people typing. Now, why exactly do I think the man Convy is viewbotting? Okay. Well, that's because this man has actually exposed himself for viewbotting on Kick what? live on his own stream. There's actually a clip going around a little bit ago of the man going through his emails on stream, and you can see a purchase of one thousand. Oh my gosh, he this had to be a troll. You sent eighty nine dollars to Eli Bear for one thousand kick day viewers. What? Thousand kick viewers from somebody that's named gotta be Eli like a, Barrett that's for cash sixty nine dollars. You know what though? I gotta give this man his props because he fessed up when he was caught. Uh, really? Got exposed, Snaggy. By who? I view bump. <clears throat> got exposed. <laughs> Bro, you just made like snack come out my nose, bro. Like, bro, can't be <laughs> doing that shit like that. <laughs> How they find out? Um, my email. I mean, it is corny oh, wow. at the end of the day, but at least he fessed up to it. Let's be real. Yeah, All that being real. said, though, I think that Convy's situation is pretty similar to Neon's, where I definitely think that the man has viewership. I mean, he literally used to stream on Twitch, and when he was streaming on Twitch, he was getting like 1,000 to 3,000 viewers per stream. But okay. at the same time, I do think that his numbers are skewed, because like y'all just saw, he literally exposed himself live on stream, even okay. though it was only 1,000 viewers. Yeah, just like I 1, can guarantee you that the man's probably botted way more than that. He yeah. only got caught with 1,000, but he's probably botted up to 5,000 viewers for all we know i mean the man literally bots likes on his instagram pictures he's got what? a picture with 400 000 likes but for some reason it only has 1500 oh comments. my gosh you bought in everything view what's the point of botting likes what that's corny. And he also has other pictures that have hundreds of thousands of likes, yet he only has 136,000 followers. Since when have we ever heard wow. of somebody getting the same amount of likes as their follower count yeah, on Instagram nah. on numerous pictures? So I don't think that's we'd crazy. Be too far off to assume that the man also yeah, that's corny, man. more Come than 1,000 viewers on Kick. Another streamer with fake viewership on Kick is a streamer we all know and love, the big headed bandit Jack Doherty. Now, for y'all that are that? familiar oh. with Jack Doherty, I used to watch his, his YouTube videos like in school for 24 hours um it, like it was him and uh dom tracy i used to watch their video it was like them like skipping school um ignoring my mom for 24 hours. I, I used to watch those videos this man basically just goes around acting like a public nuisance now and he never i don't know about all this because he always this. has a security guard hovering over his shoulder that is so, he basically so just messed does up whatever he wants and talk that's a security guard a security guard hovering well, over what his is shoulder. he wearing you're wearing a dad fit so he basically just does whatever he wants and talks <laughs> however he wants because nobody checks him for it and it's what honestly a lame annoying. he also has different celebrities on stream and stuff like antonio brown but you can tell that none of these celebrities 
truly respect Not the man. Wait. But all that being said, Jack Doherty averages 7.7 7,000 average viewers on kick with a peak viewership of 20,000 within the past 30 days. Yeah, He's got 9,000 no followers more. on Twitter, 900,000 followers on Instagram, 14 million He's subscribers only fans. on YouTube, yeah, I know and 140,000 followers on kick. And you know, I'm not going to lie, it looks normal from the outside looking in. Yeah, you know? it does. I mean, he has 14 million subscribers on YouTube. There's got to be 7,000 people yeah, in I used to screen, watch him on YouTube right? back when he was Wrong. the most talented, not eating for 24 hours. and watch one of this man's streams, you notice how slow the chat moves moves for him to be having 7,000 people in his chat all at once. Bruce drop him off had like 5,000 viewers and his chat was moving with quickness. But for some yeah. reason, Jack Doherty has 2,000 more people in the chat and his chat is moving slower than molasses. That is pretty fishy. <laughs> like what? if you were to watch a Twitch stream of someone with about 7,000 viewers, their yeah. chat is going to be moving yeah. quickly. Even if someone has less than 7,000, let's say like 4,000 or 3,000, their chat is still yeah. going to be pretty hard that, to read. That, and it's going to be moving with quickness but somehow with 7,000 viewers there's only a handful of people typing that is pretty fishy yeah. now another streamer with fake viewership on Who kick else? is Who the else? streamer heel mike now if you're unfamiliar with heel mike his content pretty much just revolves around him going to parties him hanging out with girls and him sometimes getting into fights on stream and that's pretty much it he also used to be a twitch streamer but now he's a kick streamer and when you look at his twitch he has 7.4 million Whoa. followers and i'm not gonna lie these are most likely bodies and his average viewers on kick are about 10.9k with a peak of 35k in the it's last good, three actually, days. When average. you look at his subs on YouTube, he's got 135,000 subscribers, 60,000 followers on Twitter, and 78,000 followers on Instagram. Those followers are fake. He got followed by it. 7 million on Twitch, but every other platform you have like, not even like almost a, a 100,000. Yeah, yeah, when you tune fake. into one of his streams, his chat moves way too slow for him to be averaging 10,000 viewers with a peak what is that of 35,000. Like, how do you have 10,000 viewers, what is that chat? but your chat is moving slower than a Call of Duty kill feed on Search and Destroy? It just doesn't make sense at all. The man's chat is moving at 6 messages per minute. There's people out there with 2,000 and 3,000 viewers who have way more active chats than this man right here. Here, but he somehow has 7,000 viewers with a peak of 35,000 in That's the past crazy. 30 days. But there's only like five to six people typing. That is Yo, pretty what is fishy. That chat, and what bro? makes it even fishier is that this man even streamed on Twitch in 2024. And for some reason, he only had 600 viewers watching. Now, the man hasn't streamed on Twitch in a whole year. So okay. it does kind of make sense to why there wasn't that many people in the stream. But at okay. the same time, I can assure you that if any streamer on Kick goes back to their Twitch channel, even if it's been inactive for the past year they could still at least pull a fraction of what they were pulling true, true, on true. kick it You're just right. doesn't make sense to how this man averages fifteen thousand viewers on kick but for some reason when he goes back to twitch a website with not that many view botters he's only averaging 600 that is pretty fishy what's funny is that there was actually a point back in december where kick actually fixed their view botting issue and this man oh. had his ego checked live on stream because he went from sixteen thousand viewers to only two thousand wow. i don't know how the Fuck, we just went from 17K to 2.7. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. If I could afford that, I would have <laughs> bought it a lot earlier. I'm wow. I don't know how that shit works, but I would have bought it. He Ooh, sounds so no. dumb. Now, don't get me wrong. 2,000 viewers about? is still a phenomenal amount. Uh, yeah, that, that's that is still a good lot. amount. That's still yeah, the that's top 1% of streamers. But there is a huge difference from somebody who has 16,000 viewers and somebody who has 2,000 viewers. And I can tell you right now, when you look at the man's chat, that is not a 16,000 viewer chat. That is not even a 7,000 viewer chat. And when you look yeah. at the man's older Twitch stats, you can see that the man's viewers were around 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000. Wow. So it makes sense to why his viewership went down all the way. He didn't grow out. At all he's still at 2k he ain't grow at all way to 2000 when kick fixed the view botting issue the man definitely has viewers but at the same time a lot of those viewers are inflated if i'm being real with you at the yeah. end of the day i think these view botters are doing more bad than good because there's no real positives to view botting all it does is ruin the game for the legitimate yeah, streamers it does. but that's just my two for cents them, tell me good. your guys thoughts in the comment section below yeah. all that being said this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made it this far i appreciate you if you guys appreciate enjoyed this you, video cut. then i highly recommend you guys check out my most recent Oh, the girl stream with might watch that tomorrow. You know, yeah, but he's making facts, bro. It ruins it for the littler guys. Um, you go ahead and like this video. Make sure y'all tap him with him. 
Um, but yeah, it does ruin it for the guys who are actually doing it, and it just uh, gives them uh, the top channel for like each category or even on the homepage. Uh, yeah, I don't watch Kick. I don't know what I don't know what's going on at Kick. Um, but yeah, mid 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 mid. Um, if y'all do that, let me know down below. See you guys on the next one. Roll to 200 subscribers. Oh yeah, and follow me on my Twitch, that boy Emery. Hey, walking to the party, they like Gappa, is that you?